Hello Pisces, welcome to your September 2018 reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising signs, even Venus signs if you know that one. Don't forget I have my uh, Vimeo channel so if this one resonates with you and you would like to check out part two or the continuation of this reading then please click on the link below and that will take you directly to the extended version of this reading. So let's get along with your general reading here Pisces. From the House of Night Oracle deck, you've pulled the High Priestess of Spirit. Now this one to me speaks about the, the larger picture. For you I get an energy of being divinely guided and very much an energy here of that High Priestess energy. Knowing what you want intuitively and from the angels guidance deck you've pulled steady progress so for you it's knowing that uh, that you are on the right path it's also looking back at how far you've already come how many lessons you've learned and focusing on your progress with this one I, I get an energy of taking small actions or small steps towards achieving what you want to uh, achieve in terms of, of, of a goal that you may have in mind. And Pisces as your overall energy you have the card of innocence from the Ganesha deck. Now with this one <clears throat> you're being offered an opportunity to approach a particular situation with renewed peace if you're making changes to your life in any way whether it's a job, relationship or direction, approach this with a sense of exploration and the excited curiosity of a child. It's, it's having that, uh, that childlike enthusiasm. Be willing to let go of preconceived ideas that have developed over time in your mind and allow your heart to be centered and in a uh, place of peace. So let's see where this goes for you. Now in the first draw, <clears throat> you had quite a few cards come out so I'm, the two that came out as your overall energy Pisces you have the the horned god which is the emperor card in this deck and the knight of pentacles so as your overall energy here I feel you are being very focused on achieving a goal when I see that knight of pentacles I see him as being very steadfast in a course of action, eyes on the prize, very much a, a feeling here of being grounded, taking again I get small steps, steady progress, slow and steady. With that Emperor card <clears throat> I do get you as taking responsibility, acting from a place of uh, maturity, I do get with this as well a, a, a strong level of commitment and power as well so you seem to have a lot of power over a situation let's have a quick look in your past here Pisces you have the five of cups in reverse and the tower which is the wild hunt in this deck so Pisces something's happened in the past to really shake your core there's been a major change, a major transformation. It may have been a breakup or a, uh, a, any kind of a destruction of a foundation, an ending. And I get with that Five of Cups in reverse. You may have spent some time in the past <clears throat> being very focused on the loss around this uh, tower event. But for you in the recent past, I get that you're starting to heal. And instead of focusing on what has been lost, I feel you're refocusing an energy towards the, uh, the positive things that you still have in your life and also towards achieving other goals as well. So I feel that uh, the things are starting to turn around for you. In the present energy, you have the, the witch or the magician card. So you're wanting to get something off the ground at present. 
it may be a new relationship it could be potentially a, a job or a, a business venture but I do get you wanting to move forward here uh, you've got confidence in your own abilities there is a strength boldness very capable and up to the task is what I'm getting with this card <clears throat> very much a feeling here of believing in yourself and your own abilities to, to make something happen now in the future energy you have the eight of wands so things are starting to heat up the pace is starting to quicken I do pick it up as creating getting something started let's have a look at your advice or your best path to follow you have the five of pentacles in reverse and the queen of wands so Pisces there may be someone around you could be a fire sign or someone with fire in their chart could be a Leo Aries or Sagittarius or someone that just is exhibiting the, the kinds of qualities of a fire sign at present someone who is uh, generally fun loving confident adventurous optimistic and also a, a confident leader as well with this five of pentacles in reverse as your advice it seems to suggest that you're coming out of a period of struggle or adversity perhaps after this tower event Pisces and I get for you that the, the worst is over and that the, you're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel I do get for you that things are starting conditions are improving especially around any kind of sense of being left out or feeling isolated in any way now in your environment you have the page of swords in reverse so you may hear some some disappointing news someone may be coming in with a message here but it's a, a message that may involve some it, it's misinformation or perhaps even outright uh, gossip something that I get that you shouldn't put a lot of faith in whatever this message is that's coming in and I will clarify these cards <coughs> let's have a look at your hopes and fears you have the nine of wands in reverse so Pisces you, you're fearing that you you won't be able to have the the courage to to keep up the the, the hard work when it comes to a relationship or a, a situation that you're involved in here I, I feel that for you you need to stay the course keep being motivated towards achieving this this goal whether this is a relationship with someone or a situation and I feel for you that there is some exhaustion that there's tiredness around around this uh, this situation this struggle from the past but I, I get for you that you're fearing not being able to continue there's a fear of, of giving up <coughs> now in your outcome here you have two cards that came out in the initial draw we have the the temperance card in reverse along with the eight of cups so I do see some some positive outcome here for you where you you're walking away from some extreme behavior I get for you that there has been a lack of peace balance in your life I pick up uh, that there has been perhaps some overindulgence could be anything it could be um, substance it could be uh, uh, sexual as well or just general behavior that isn't good for you or, or your family or relationship here Pisces and remember the energies can be vice versa so if this is not you it could be your partner if you're cross-watching 
but the energy here is good because I, I feel that you are leaving something behind that is no longer serving you there's a feeling here of n knowing that you need to leave something behind to abandon a kind of behavior that you've held on to in the past as your advice here Pisces I get <coughs> very much an energy of focusing on improving conditions between you and a partner I think you are fully capable of achieving this because I get for you there's a maturity and very much a focus on achieving a goal in life it can mean material things but I feel more for you it's about the whole package seeing the bigger picture not just material wealth but also having that that contentment the the ultimate fulfillment in life with this high priestess of spirit i feel for you it's seeing a, the bigger picture in life not being bogged down with uh, with some behavior I, I get that that has perhaps prevented you from reaching a higher level or making progress Pisces now with this card of innocence as your overall energy I think for you it's important while going through this this process and I do feel it's a process for you Pisces is to, to keep that childlike spirit of enthusiasm and don't let yourself become too worn out when it comes to whether this is a relationship or a work environment it's to keep that level of, of childlike innocence and also not be, be dragged into anything here that is going to lead to any kind of behavior that, that is going to affect your uh, your progress negatively I think you need to leave whatever this behavior is in the past so that you can move on and make that make that progress in life because I get for you there has been a shake-up in the past some kind of major life event or change and there needs to be uh, just recently I get that there's you're starting to view things more optimistically you have everything you need around you to, to get this started and you can do it quite quickly with this eight of wands <coughs> and there's very much a need here to not get bogged down in gossip or what what someone may be a message that may be being delivered to you Pisces that contains some falsehood some untruths I feel there's someone that is feeding you some information that is incorrect perhaps about someone else or uh, it, it could be in relation to your partner or your partnership but I don't think that they have your best interests at heart this page of swords in reverse so Pisces it's, it's all about coming out of a, a period of struggle with you refocusing your energies on a shared goal with a partner letting go of any kind of overindulgence or extreme behavior that you may be being tempted by by someone who is feeding you falsehood or lies so I'm going to leave the general portion here and, and continue this in my Vimeo so if this is resonating with you uh, please uh, continue this with me on my uh, on the link below and that's in the descriptions box so please uh, join join me there I'll lots to clarify in the uh, in part two of this reading I'll be pulling out a lot more cards I'll be finding out what you're uh, trying to uh, manifest here in your life what is speeding up who's coming in with it the, with these uh, untruths and uh, what what their um, objective is here when it comes to uh, 
to you, Pisces, and I'll also find out uh, what happens here in the outcome, whether you're going to be successful in, uh, in giving up uh, an activity or a behaviour here that has uh, perhaps restricted you and restricted your progress <coughs> in life. So please join me on my Vimeo channel for part two. The link is below in the descriptions box. If not, then uh, please stay tuned and, and uh, I'll give you some more information about how to, how to contact me for a personal reading. So I wish you all the best with this Pisces and I will speak to you soon. Bye for now. Hello everyone, it's Michelle from Gypsy Insights. I'm an intuitive reader. I receive the energies from the cards as I read them. I'm here to provide guidance through tarot and I hope that you enjoy the readings. My general readings can be quite specific and won't resonate with everyone. Please check your sun, moon and rising signs to see which one resonates the most with you. And remember, the energies can resonate with you or go vice versa. These general readings are provided free of charge, so if you are enjoying my readings, please feel free to donate using PayPal and my email address, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. I look forward to reading for you personally please email me at gypsyinsights at gmail.com if you would like a personal reading. Please like, share and subscribe. I'll be adding additional content on a regular basis. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you again very soon.